Yo, yo, yo. Good to see ya. Today I'd like to teach you how to find the molecular mass of potassium hydroxide. I have a nice little table to help us out. Watch. Bam. So the first thing we're going to do is write the elements we see in the compound. So potassium, oxygen, and hydrogen. Then we write down the number of atoms of each, and that's where the subscripts come into play. Now, if you don't see any subscripts there, put in a one, because there is assumed to be one of them. All right? Otherwise, if there was zero of them, well, what the heck would the letter be doing in the compound? Right? Then multiply by the mass of the element. We're going to use the periodic table to help us out. So the mass of potassium is 39.1, hydrogen is 1.01, and oxygen is 16. All right? So let's plug them in. So this is 39.10, oxygen was 16, and hydrogen was 1.01. Then we're going to find the total mass of the element here in the compound by simply multiplying this row on a cross for each element. So that's going to be 39.10, 16 for oxygen, 1.01. It's the same as all the masses, but that's only because there's only one atom of each. And then when we add this all together, we get 56.11. And the units here are in terms of AMU, atomic mass units. And that's all there is to it, my friend. So thanks so much for tuning in. Really do appreciate it. Uh, Check out our channel if you can. Check out the channel. If you can, we've got thousands of videos out there. Different subjects, not only chemistry, physics, mathematics. We'd love to help you through your other classes. All right? That's our mission. Take care.